What's going on YouTube? So in today's YouTube video, we'll be discussing the Traxxas X01. Um, this is the 100 plus mile an hour, triple digit, out the box, ready to run remote control car. Yep, this thing's one seventh scale, it's all wheel drive. And yes, it will do triple digit speeds stock. Yeah. This thing's a beast. Now, if you're considering purchasing one, um, yeah, I recommend it. And I don't recommend it. We'll discuss that. But before I continue, I just want to make a full disclosure. I am an Amazon affiliate. So anything I talk about, I will put the links uh, to purchase one in the description below. And the reason behind that is because I want to make money. So if you plan on purchasing an X01 anyway, use my link. So, you know, I, I make my 4% commission. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for you guys in, in hopes that you use my link, links. Because not only am I going to just simply talk about this thing, I'm also going to talk about its disadvantages. And I'm also going to talk about the upgrade potential to it, what to put in it to make it go faster, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah. Um, do look out for the description, read the description below. And if you do plan on buying one, use my link to buy one. If you do plan on upgrading it, use my links to upgrade it. Cause I won't just be biased in just one product. Um, I will use multiple variants of how you could upgrade this. You could go castle TP, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, let's get into it. So Ricky Bobby, you want to go fast, huh? <laughs> this thing will go fast um yeah this thing's a bullet it's it's actually surreal how fast it'll go like i'm talking about really surreal like it goes so fast that you you can't fathom how fast it is like it it's almost at a point where your brain can't process how fast it is because it's like equivalent to seeing a tracer bullet round reach its target you know it's not fast so yeah um now uh yeah you heard about the perks if you're gonna get one of these first thing you got to do is ditch the original traxxas remote to a dumbo or a radio link remote because those are for speed runs those have ranges by the way, if you're wondering why the body moves, because I only have two clips there. I got one here and one on the opposite side. This doesn't have a clip on there. So, and it is kind of windy. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I will put a link in the description below about the radio link. Um, so, you could put it in. That way you get uh, 988 meters of range. Hold on one second. Oh. As you can see, you said you want to go fast, right? Yeah, buddy. Where do you get to see a Traxxas X01 review? That's what I'm talking about. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, this is a little treat for you. I'll be salad. Hold on. up the uh the quality of the video okay all right uh, 
by the way i made reviews of all these rc cars yeah so this is the xo1 um if you want to go fast if you want to go fast the xo1 is the way to go that's a slash that's a revo that's my x max you can see the size comparison to it um all right it's kind of windy outside by the way i wasn't kidding look how big this runway is this used to be an airport all right i'm going back inside because it's cold okay and let me put this back on its mount all right um yeah wow where where do you get to see a remote control car review slash testimony and you get to see a bmw straight up doing donuts and burnouts and whatnot so yeah smash that like button and subscribe and say that's awesome you know anyways continuing on um yeah the x01 is far superior um uh, no, I'm going to take that back. In my opinion, I like the Traxxas X01. I'm a Traxxas man. I do have the Arma Limitless. I do have the Felony. But you can't steer away from the original. And this has been tried and true. You can upgrade it. You could upgrade the ESC. You could upgrade the motor. You could go with um, the Castle motor. You could go with the TP motor. You could go with the Hobby Wing motor. You could go with the Spectrum motor. Um, with the ESCs, you could go with the TP motor. Um, yeah, you could dump one of these in. You could go with the Max 8. You could go with the Max 6. You could go with the Max 5. I mean, you could go 8S with this thing. You know, the sky's the limit. Um, you could also go with a Castle motor. I, mean, I uh, You could go with the Castle motor and the ESC, but I don't recommend the, the Castle ESCs. Uh, I, I feel like those are like definitely prone to being up in a blaze. I've had people straight up tell me that their XL2s just bursted up into flames and their whole remote control car rig went down the drain because it bursted into flames. What do you expect from Castle? And it's not the first I've heard of Castle have catastrophic failures, right? So yeah, you could keep this stock. Um, when when you're if anyone that's new and the and is still watching me till up um, up until this point, um, I'll just let you know this is an on road. So if you live in the countryside and you don't have an empty parking lot or anything like that, like a straight up tarmac, if you don't have tarmac anywhere around you, you need to drive this on tarmac. And even if you do drive this on tarmac, you have to actually walk in the path in which you're gonna be driving your X01 on, because if there's like a rock or something like that, you gotta clear it out the way. You gotta inspect the area, the runway per se. And it has to be silky smooth. Um, that way you could just rip it um yeah and uh as i said doing speed runs doing 100 miles an hour on any remote control car can have catastrophic failures because you're going so fast that it takes a fraction of a second for things to go sideways and next thing you know it your your beloved x01 is colliding into a wall or a curb and it just demolishes like it turns into like a freak it goes poof and you're going to be collecting all your parts with a freaking broom and a dustpan and it's going to be insalvageable like maybe the tire may be salvageable after a triple digit speed run it's never happened to me because I've been like I said I've been in this hobby for over 15 years and I'm not I raced real cars with remote control cars. You know, I'm the kind of guy that, not uh, not to toot my own horn, I am good at going fast, but I also have common sense. I'm not going to be doing speed runs. Um, I'm not going to be doing speed runs if it's windy, right? I'm not going to be doing speed runs, you know, if if the conditions aren't right. You know, it's when you compromise and you say, 
forget about it, just send it and worry about it later is when you actually start facing the consequences. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe at my YouTube channel. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. That's a cop car. I think that's a cop car. No, I don't think that's a cop car. All right. Um, Cause those guys are still having at it. Um, yeah, um, my secondary YouTube channel is Insane G. That's I-N-S-A-N-E space G. I'll also pull a link to my secondary YouTube channel, which is technically my primary YouTube channel. This is actually my um, secondary channel where I strictly do reviews and testimonies. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Also check me out on my primary YouTube channel. That's a wrap. I guess my next uh, batch of RC cars I'll do will be the Armas. Um, Arma, if you're watching this video, send me some Arma uh, RC cars. Um, low C, Horizon Hobby, if you're listening into this, I'd love some low C RC cars um, to test and review. Yeah, I guess I'll make a part two for each one of them. Comment, be like, yo, I want uh, to see it do this, or I want to see it do that. And I may just very well post a video of it. You know, what do you want to see this do? Donuts, burnouts. I got videos of those. But anyways, um, 11 minutes and 35 seconds into the video. I got to wrap this up so I could go back and watch those, uh, BMWs drag race and do burnouts. I swear my life's like a movie. Thank you guys. That's a cut.